It looks like Stephanie. T5 million dollars. Look at your son. Ratatata! Tui! One on each butt cheek! It's 8 o'clock in the morning! The sun still hasn't risen! Just kidding, she's right here. <laughs> the biggest face in the game, bitch! Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to today's vlog. Now, this is been a highly requested No, it hasn't been. Which is Stephanie, I saw that video of you pranking Justin multiple times. You were born to be an actress. And so today I've decided to take on the role of being a movie star. Nobody asked for this, nobody wanted for it, but I'm here and I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it in the way that I like to do it, which is eating. <laughs> so today we are going to let movies decide what I eat for the next 24 hours. I know what you're thinking. Stephanie, you've got the look. You've got the talent. You've got the skill. You've got the <gasps> emotional range, you know what I'm saying? But do you have the most important thing? Do you have the hair? And I'm here to tell you that I do. And it's all thanks to using Function of Beauty's products. That was so smooth. <laughs> transition. Today's vlog is actually sponsored by Function of Beauty. I have been using them for quite some time now. This is one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners that I've ever tried, mainly because I get to have so much fun with it and it's 100% customizable. One thing that you need to know is that your scalp is actually skin and it absorbs whatever product that you put onto your scalp. Function of Beauty doesn't use any sulfates, no parabens, they are 100% toxin free and they're vegan. <laughs> well, all you guys have to do is click the link in the description and fill out a quick, I want to say like two minutes, three minutes if you're slower at reading like me, three minute quiz and it just asks you, what are your hair goals? What type of hair do you have? You can even customize the color. I chose blue this time. Usually I go with pink, but I'm like trying to be a little cool today. And it also says, function of garbanzo. <laughs> Did you see that? No way. You oh, can, you chose it. Yeah. Oh. And you can choose the scent, which is the best part. I chose eucalyptus. It smells so good. If you like to smell like eucalyptus, the tree itself sprouted from the ground, you can do that. You can have a strong scent. Or you can say, hey, I like just a little eucalyptus whisper in my shampoo. You can also do that as well. And ever since I got my hair extensions, I'm really careful about keeping them nourished. So I've been using the Function of Beauty hair mask. This is my second container. The first one I got in the scent, milkshake. And I love it. You use it in the shower. You don't have to like hop out of the shower, hop back in, rinse it off. You just throw it on like you do conditioner and it makes makes your hair so freaking soft. Make sure to click the link in my description because you guys can actually get 20% off your first order. If you want to like book me in one of those like slow-mo hair ads. This is my audition tape. You know, I'm an actress. So it is currently almost 8 o'clock and my fiance has joined us. Say hello, bit. You have joined me. <laughs> get out of here. And we're going to be cooking the Birds of Prey egg sandwich as our breakfast. I haven't watched Birds of Prey. I'm not even sure if it's out yet or if it's going to get postponed. It's been out for like a month. What the? Super breakfast. Today we're getting a head start on the day. It is currently 7.45 in the freaking morning. Because, you know, actresses rise and shine. Rise and grind. I've seen the scene. I've seen Binging with Babish make it. I saw him eat it. Well, kind of. And then I was like, I would like to consume that as well. So what's so, so special today we're about eating this? it. Here's what's special. I have never seen bacon cooked that way before. They put some bacon on a pan, and then they throw in some water, and then the water evaporates, and then you've got this bacon juicy fat, and then you throw in the eggs, and then you throw in a chipata, and then it's just, I'm gonna wrap it in parchment paper. I am going to make it feel so authentic and harlequin. And we've got Justin here, who is from New York. He recently moved, and this is from New York. It's a Brooklyn, like a... Oh, what's a Brooklyn accent? Brooklyn. Harlequin. Harlequin. <laughs> That's a Chinese accent. <laughs> you wonky ass <laughs> slipper boo boo. That's my B-roll. There we go. Bits. Bacon. <gasps> Four slices. Add in the water, sous chef. Ooh. Let the water evaporate. Bet you never cooked bacon like this. Neither have I. Chia butter bread. Make sure your bread is nice and doughy. That's how Stefiance vetted me, you know what I mean? <gasps> Honey. What? I need you. I tried to cut the bread, 
like a Harley Quinn bread, but then I ended up with an ex-boyfriend. I'm just kidding. I prefer a thick bread. That's why you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking Texas toast, boo-boo. <laughs> you think what, that's too thick? What kind of sandwich place have you been going to? This is the real talent of a chef. Okay, that's thin. That's good. Hey, what kind of sandwich is like that thin? Well, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna take out some grease. Cause you want some for your sandwich, like your ciabatta bread, and then some for your egg. In the movie, this is Margot Robbie. I know, striking resemblance. What a way to start my new life. The perfect egg sandwich. No. Okay, cut! What a way to start my new life. The perfect egg sandwich. Why do I look like a serial killer? <laughs> What a way to stop my new life. <laughs> I'm over it. Okay, go home, go home. No, wait, can I, can I be the chef then? No, I, I don't think you got to steal. No. Look, the chef in the movie, he, okay. he cracks two eggs with one hand. I don't even know how to crack one egg with one hand. Okay, Do you go hear ahead. this? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> like, what's the logistics? Just like, crack it. Oh. Oh. It cracked. No! We wait until this sets a little bit, then we add two slices of cheese. And this is all in the bacon fat right now. So we're gonna add the cheese onto the yolks, cover it up, let the cheese melt. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, Harlequin has met the villain of this movie. <gasps> The villain is here. <gasps> Look, the villain has a weapon. Okay. She's like enjoying this a little bit too much. <laughs> Parchment paper. Then we're gonna do some bacon. Apparently there's no sauces in here. Slide on the eggs. Let me teach you guys how to wrap it like a bodega. I didn't ever, I never knew this. So you're just gonna grab it from the top and then you're going to roll it down. Just like so. And then you're gonna flip it over, tuck in one of the parchment pieces. Oh, I feel like I'm getting judged. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hurry up, I'm hungry. Listen, y'all are judging, but if this was y'all, can I get some duct tape? No. Oh. Oh. That looks a little bit different from the it movie. It looks incredibly different. You squeeze it up a little bit. What the heck? Honestly, dang. We are back. We made a Trader Joe's run. It was honestly a little bit frightening. When we were checking out, the Trader Joe's lady said that, wow, at least you guys came early and got some stuff because some people were coming after work and there was nothing on the shelves. And I was like, oh, like she's like kidding around. And she's like, no, no nothing on the shelves. And I was like, oh. So today, we are lucky to have some packaged ramen, and this is gonna be lunch. This was inspired not by a movie, but by a Netflix series by the name of... You. If you guys don't know, it's a Netflix series about a stalker by the name of Joe Wait. who stalks women. Beck always brings Joe a glazed donut. If she screws up by screwing somebody else, I'm just kidding, she doesn't do that. But if she screws up, she'll always bring him a donut and knock on the door and say, I brought you a donut, glazed. What do you think has the better stalker impression? What's the line? Give me the script. No, there's no script. This is you just being the best stalker that you can be from inside of your soul. Wow. Well, you're good at that. So. Honey! <laughs> okay, ready? Good! Oh, no. <laughs> I saw Mr. Mango Butt today. He was using the Crest toothpaste that he seems to be using a lot. No wonder his breath is so minty fresh. But I suppose on his toothbrush today, there will be a scent of a glazed donut that he bought on 42nd Street at 3.50 p.m. It's not that I was watching him. I just happened to be in the area, making sure that nothing bad happened to him. I like to protect the people that I love. What's wrong with that? Some might call it crazy, but I like to say it's just friendship. Hello, <laughs> now. Today, Mr. Mango Butt was turning around before he went to bed that night. I wasn't invited over to the room, but I was watching from outside through the window, and I noticed that he has two holes in his boxers. It was airing out his butt cheeks really well. You know what's funny about this story? He dead ass had two holes in his underwear. Okay, he came out of his closet, took his pants off, getting ready for bed, and just as he was about to turn off the light, his back was to me, right? And I see two holes. One on each butt cheek on his boxers, and I go, and he goes, what? And I was like, you don't feel anything? Like, you have holes in your underwear. And he goes, do I really? Where? And then he goes into the closet, shuts the door. I guess he's embarrassed. <laughs> and then he comes out and he goes, it's not that bad. He didn't even change.
change out the underwear. I think that's a little TMI. Maybe this will motivate you to buy new underwear. <laughs> okay, now it's your time to beat Joe. This morning I saw she was eating a pack of kimchi. No wonder her breath is stinky. Mm. I can smell it all the way out here. I wonder if she's gonna do anything about it or is she just gonna pretend nothing is happening? <laughs> wow, did she just fart? Is she that your really... monologue? <laughs> is that your monologue? You bitch! I am I have gone. A it's greasy as fuck. It tastes straight up like canola oil. I guess Duncan really said, well, ain't nobody coming here right now, so whatever. <laughs> so for lunch, we are creating a chapa guri, which I've already had on my mukbang channel. I'm gonna link it below, but it's essentially from the movie Parasite, Oscar winning South Korean movie. <laughs> First foreign film. You heard that China? You heard that Lao? You heard that Mexico? It's not a competition, but like first foreign film to win best picture at the Academy Awards 2020. So we're gonna be eating chapaguri, which is a doguri and a chapaghetti with the seasoning packs halved and then this one is halved, this one's full. And then you're supposed to put ribeye steak on it, but we're kind of in a meat shortage. We're kind of in a shortage of food. I'm not trying to, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat it like this. Really quickly in this bowl, we're gonna put all of the seasoning of this chapaguri in here. And then you're gonna put half of the doguri packaging like this. Not all of it, just half of it. Put these little flakes in with the noodles and cook the noodles, mix it up super easy. This is like the most Asian hack ever. I don't know why, my parents do this too. They just find that it boils faster on a kettle than it does on the stove. Vegetable flakes, throw it in. Two packs noodles, throw it in. Let it boil for about four minutes. Okay, I've added a little bit of that noodle hot water into here and I drain the noodles. We're gonna throw them in, grab a tong. These tongs suck. Grab a new tong. Four chopsticks, like the true Korean that you are, and just kind of mix it around. There we go. Chop it off, get your little oil packet, squeeze it in. Are you ready? Mm hmm I gotta stir fry up. Oh, you forgot to cook it? Mm hmm yeah. I forgot there's a reason that they only boil it for so long. Because they gotta stir fry it? Listen, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. You guys, Parasite is a Korean movie. I am so proud to be Korean that they won. Did I already say that? Did I already mention that it was the first four? So I just wanted to kind of practice some Korean acting. I feel like it's very different from American acting. So we're gonna create a very, very common scene in a lot of Korean movies and dramas. It's the rich mom tells the poor girl to leave her son alone and offers her cash money. Shoe money. Moolah. Coin. The bag. Um, I think I should be the rich mom. Okay. Do you have an envelope of cash? Can you get an envelope of cash? Oh, I want real that. cash. No, we don't have You are the rich mom and I am the poor girl who's dating your very wealthy, rich, Samsung have an ass son. I would like you to leave my son because you are peasants. I don't care about money. Ma'am, you think it's all about money, but it's not. It's about love. $25 million. Who the f is your son? <laughs> okay, so I'm giving him a portion and Justin a portion. But, I want to try it in front of you guys, even though there's a whole 40 minute mukbang where I'm eating it in front of you. But I have it without the steak this time and I want to see if it's just as good. Mm. This is good. It tastes like tapagetti, but like with a hint of spice. I'm gonna go eat tapagori and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bonjour, bitches. Today we have a very special cooking lesson. It's called Ratatata Kui. So today for dinner, I was inspired by the movie Ratatata Tui. And so today we are going to be making Ratatui. So we are going to be starting on this very complex recipe. Don't even try it. You can't do it. I can do it because I am the best chef. Hold on to your Chanel bitch. It all starts with a beautiful tomato. This is like my butt. It's the fat side. It's the juicy side. It's the thickum side. You get the small side, you know? Can't relate. And then you just put a little bit of an X because you don't want that. You want this side. So you just mark an X here on every single tomato. What is this accent? <laughs> X marks the spot. And then we're going to let it boil for about 30 seconds. I am like a Romanian wrestler right now. If I had merch that was in French, would it just say La Bise? <laughs> La Bise? Comment down below if you guys like want me to drop the merch. I'll do it. <laughs> Sorry. 
So far, we've already sliced the squash because that took um, a glorious 30 minutes that really didn't need to be documented. And now we're gonna char these, but maybe I'll char these first now because it's taking quite a bit of time. Okay, honey, you're on char duty. You are gonna put this bell pepper straight onto the stove and make it completely burnt, charred. I've never done that before. <laughs> Neither have I. Justin has done this before. Though. I've never seen such thing. You're charring the best. I don't understand. But okay, fine. Wow, this bell pepper doesn't even flinch. It's not even bothered by this fire. Wait! <laughs> Mm. I've just never seen somebody throw a bell pepper on the fire like this, guys. I have to peel my tomatoes. Can you show them the tomatoes? Here's the tomatoes. Put them in an ice bath. You want to see something so satisfying? Wow. Yeah, we've done that before. We have upgraded to three of these. I think I am learning very fast. We're picking up the pace. It makes a smoky taste too, the peppers. And oh my gosh, you see? You guys see that? Holy moly. Wow, I'm learning so much today with these bell pepper. Oops. Okay, first piece is done. I'll take them off. Wow. They look like they've been through some shit. They look like Stephanie. I don't know if you grilled it enough. The skin's not peeling. Tomato one, tomato two. Tomato three. Three quarters of a white onion. Two cloves garlic, a few parsley stems, half a cup of water, half a cup of stock. I put some thyme in there because this recipe needs more thyme. One tablespoon olive oil. More, more, more. Wow. Okay, oh ready honey? God, Are you bell, getting this? Bell One pepper. bell pepper. Wow, is this gonna fit? Is this okay? Or is it too chunk of the chunks? I think it's too chunk of the chunks. What is it supposed to look like? Creamy. Creamy? This creamy? is not creamy. This, this is, is nowhere near creamy. creamy. I would not call this creamy. Teensy beansy mistake. I forgot salt and I forgot the pepper. No wonder when I tried it, it tasted like absolutely nothing. But um, now I have come to save the day, honey. Hurry through. <gasps> Sorry. Is that enough? Don't be shy, put some more sauce. <laughs> and now we are going to layer the vegetables. So yellow, green, eggplant, tomato. This is how it's gonna go. Yellow. Oh my gosh, beautiful. But like, look at how cool this looks though. I know. Honey, you Can were just saying that this is not worth oh the my effort. God. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, how do I do this, y'all? Do you kind of lift it up? Do, do I just like do this? Like on the side? Okay, cool. That's cool. You look stressed, honey. Do we put anything in the middle? I think we should. Yeah. Let's see who has the prettier middle. Prettier middle? This is my middle. What's your middle? Putting it in. Wait, how do you know that's the best middle? That's it. Uh, just like Great. this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wow. And take her. I think this you doesn't like get... This middle? No, it's fine. I think this is the peak of this dish at this moment. So we're gonna do some B-rolls. Oh my god. <laughs> row, row, row. Row, row, row. Row. All right, now we're gonna put this paper on top and throw it into the oven. Hi! Wow, we're all headless today. We're gonna be having a plating contest. The rat da da is out of the oven. And ta 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 da What do you think? Essentially, if you guys have seen ratatouille, this is exactly how they plate it. And I feel like most of you guys aren't familiar with this setting. So we've got Justin to the right, we've got extraordinary Stephanie in the middle, and then we've got Extraordinary. We've got the humblest Mr. Mango on the left. We don't have any rings. I'm using this cool silicone. I'm just gonna freaking do it. So I saw the movie. What they did was you want that to stand, okay? You want it to freaking stand. Justin <laughs> thinks he's so smart by taking out that cupcake molder. <laughs> molder? Cupcake mold. Uh huh. Little did he know, and that thing is very flexible. <laughs> now it just looks like a pile of poop. I'm done. Does this not look Wait, just on. like the freaking movie? Hold I'm on. done. Hold Doesn't on. this look like the Does movie? What the heck is that? <laughs> what is that? Y'all's looks whack. Honestly, I think mine looks the best. Are you done, babe? Well, oh my god, mine looks, looks so beautiful. Yeah, it looks ugly. I know I always win the competitions, but this time I consider this a perfect representation. We have number one from Justino. Show them the best angle, please. There you go. Wow, it looks like open Is that heart it? surgery from the back. Number two, which number two. looks nothing like the movie. Beauty What spirals. is that? What is this, like American portion? Everybody's been waiting for, finally. I don't know. 
Is this not exactly like the movie? Pull up a picture. Why are you guys so skeptical? Can somebody pull up the movie? Oh my god, none oh of ours god. look like it. I, I would say mine look the closest. Oh wait, really? Let's ask the people. The people vote that it's mine. How do we eat it? Is it worth the work? It tastes straight up the steamed vegetables oh and god. putting some salt on it. <laughs> it's been 24 long hours since I started cooking in this kitchen and it's time to start my own journey. Chef starting my own business, taking a chance on life. So make sure to check out the link in the description to get Function of Beauty, the best <laughs> shampoo and conditioner <laughs> on the market. Yes, that's my next position. If you guys are done with this movie, check me out in the next hair commercial for Function of Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think that we got the food as close? to the movie food as possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah!